This is the key to topic 15, part A. And in number one, you want to find the slope of the line that contains those two points. And so um, you have to use a slope formula. Let's say, uh, uh, show that you are using the formula. So remember the slope formula is this. Um, slope equals, um, remember, so we're changing y, we're changing x. So it's y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And so when using when, when it says make sure that, that you must show that you're using the formula, what I'm, what I'm interested in seeing is this. So what some students do is this. They'll go ahead and label the coordinates. So this is your first point, and this is the second point. They'll call this x sub 1, y sub 1, and this will be x sub 2, y sub 2. So the work, the work that I need to see is this. Slope equals, and you just substitute. So y2, which is 8, subtract y1, which is 4, divided by... Since I started, remember the slope formula, the order in which, in which you subtract does matter. So if, if, you, if, you, if the second y coordinate is listed first, then you've got to do the second x coordinate. And so, so then since I started with 8, I must start with 3. So 3 subtract the negative 3. All right, so that's the work. Simplifying this, 8 subtract 4 is 4. 3 subtract the negative 3 means 3 plus 3. That's 3 plus 3 which is 6, and then reducing you get 2 thirds. All right. So there's your work, and the answer is 2 thirds. Part B, do the same thing, x1, y1, x2, y2. Substituting, we get slope equals negative 4, so you subtract your y coordinates. Negative 4 subtract 6. Divided by, since I start with negative 4, I must start with 5. 5 subtract the negative 9. A negative 4 and a negative 6 is a negative 10. 5 subtract a negative 9 means 5 plus 9. And 5 plus 9 is 14. Reducing, I get negative 5 sevenths. So there's your slope, negative 5 sevenths. C, same thing, x1, y1, x2, y2. So the slope will be negative 6 subtract a negative 1 divided by negative 3, subtract 4. All right, now let's, let's think about what this is. So this means negative 6, negative 6 subtract to negative 1 means negative 6 plus 1. Remember, subtraction, don't always change it to addition. Add the opposite. The opposite of negative 1 is a positive 1. And then negative 3 plus a negative 4. That's what this can be written as. The numerator is now a negative 5. The denominator is now a negative 7. It is expected that you should know a negative divided by negative is a positive. So you should write 5 sevenths. Don't, don't leave it as negative 5 divided by negative 7. That's going to indicate you don't know that a negative divided by negative is a positive. G, or D rather, x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so again, the slope, you're going to say, there's your work. You're going to say negative 2 subtract 7, divided by 4 subtract 4. So that's negative 9 divided by 0. It is expected that you know that, that in terms of slope, what that means is that the slope is undefined. So you can say undefined, or you can say no slope. That's what that means. It's undefined or no slope. Okay? All right, number 2, it says the slope of a line is indicated below. Determine whether the line rises, falls, is horizontal, or is vertical on the um, on the slope given. And then write the answer in the blank. So if the slope is positive, if the slope is positive, what that means is that your line is rising. That's what that means. So the line will rise it. So we're going to say rises. If the slope is zero, if the slope is zero, that means your line is horizontal. So the line is horizontal. Okay? All right. So that is the key to um, the worksheet on topic 15 part A.